Good morning, friends. How y'all doing this morning? God is powerful. Let's praise his name every day, again and again, over and over and over. Because what team are you on? I'm on Team Jesus. Are you on Team Jesus? It's time to get on Team Jesus. Get saved by his grace through faith before this world ends, okay? He's going to come down to the clouds. Our Lord and Savior is going to come down to the clouds and bring up his children to the clouds. We're going to be in the clouds and they're going to have tribulation on this earth. Seven years of tribulation. And then after seven years, we're going to come down, back down from the clouds and reign with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for a thousand years. Aren't you ready for that? Or are you, are you ready for hell? If we don't accept Jesus Christ into our hearts, the bottom line is we're going to burn eternally in hell. So might, we need to go ahead and stop procrastinating, stop putting it off, and understand Jesus Christ is the answer. Get saved by his grace through faith, which is not of ourselves, which is a gift from God, not of works, that city man should boast, as it says in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. Well, this morning we're in 1 Samuel 31, the last chapter of Samuel. And then guess what? What book's next? Second Samuel. <laughs> it's another second, another book of Samuel. But praise the Lord, y'all please turn there with me. Go to Samuel 31. Third, Samuel 31. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And the book's right, y'all. Good morning to y'all. Praise the Lord. Because Saul, Saul, he died. This isn't the same Saul as in Acts that turned to Paul. This is a different Saul. I'm not, forgive me if I may have said that before. Accident, but I'm also learning myself too. People say, How can you preach to us? You ain't read Bible cover to cover. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm reading Bible cover to cover, trying to learn. I've, I've, I've studied a lot, I've learned a lot, I've heard a lot, but a lot I don't know. This is a big, big old Bible. 66 books of God's Word. The Word of God, which is quick and powerful, sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even in two. The dividing of sons, the soul, and the spirit, the joints, and the marrow, and is that a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, my friends, as it says in Hebrews 4, 12. I want y'all to search for that in 1 Samuel. I'm going to pause one second for station. Uh, don't catch it. Oh, I got that back from the girl over here at the races. I always heard that on the, on the, when they went to the commercial break. Stay, pause for station. Uh, don't catch it. I just says, go catch it. Where are the little Because he's coming back soon, guys. He's coming back to pick up his children. Then we'll have, they're going to have year, three years of peace. And then three and a half years of peace. Then guess what's going to happen? The Antichrist is going to come and say, I'm God. I'm, I'm, I'm Jesus. I'm God. And then everybody's going to believe, oh, that's Jesus. Oh, that's God. And they're going to believe a lie. We don't follow a lie. That I, that I is the devil. And he is the father of lies. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bod not in the truth. Let's go to John 10, 10 a little later. Or John, not John 10, 10, but John. Well, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's in there. My mind it ain't working right now, but we're going to solve this more. Perfect. It'll come, it'll pop in there in a minute. Watch how the Holy Spirit, watch how the Holy Spirit works. Eight forty four right there, John eight forty. John, I think it's John eight forty four. One of the main forty fours, but God, it could be uh, Romans. I'm not sure right the second, but it'll be in there soon. First time of 31, 5. Don't please turn that women, my friends. 31, we're going to read number 31, 5. We're here where the Bible says, And when, he, when his armor bearer fell, Saul, and when his armor bearer fell, Saul saw that Saul was dead. When the armor bearer fell, when the, when the armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise unto, uh, upon his sword and died with him. See, people, uh, Saul was the king, and then the king died, and people people died with him, including his sons, because right there, and we'll hear us pray. We'll Dear Lord Jesus, help us all this morning. Help us all understand your word is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even unto the divine son of the soul and the spirit of the joints and the marrow, as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart, Lord. <laughs> As I mentioned that just a minute ago in Hebrews 4.12. Help us, Jesus, to put on our armor of God daily, Lord. Jesus, put, 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 help us to be strong in the Lord and the power of your light, of your might. Put on the whole armor of God. And stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of this, of this world, against spiritual wickedness and 
dark places. Help us, Jesus. Help, help me read that. You're in the second, Lord Jesus. You're so powerful, Lord. Please help my boys this morning, whatever they're doing, my young men. Help them. I, I pray for them daily, Lord Jesus. Please, God, you got a plan. Sometimes we may not understand, but God, you always got a plan. Help us, Jesus. Help us focus on you and your word. Please help me here this morning as I preach. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, I just had that verse pop in my mind, Ephesians 6, 12. I may have quoted it wrong. I hate when I quote scripture wrong because I got, we got to get it right. We got to get it right. We got to go by the KJV Bible because that's, that's the truth. And if we don't know, if we, we don't understand it, we got to study to show that stuff approved. A workman unto God needs not to be ashamed, rightly really dividing the word of truth. That's 2 Timothy 3, 12 right there. 3, 15. We'll look at that too. We'll look at that too. Because <clears throat> I was just saying, uh, and uh, John eight forty four. No, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Ephesians 6, Ephesians 6, 6, 6, 12, right here, where the Bible says. Y'all please see all the right sign of the rest of my other pages. This is my grandparents' Bible. I love when, I come, when I'm reading through here and I see scripture underlined. Amen. Powerful, God is powerful. This is my grandparents' Bible they gave to me after, my Aunt Susie gave to me after, after they passed. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. When you seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually, my friends. Hello there, sir. Good morning to you. Or ma'am, I can't tell right the second. But God, it's Bible because the, Philist the Philistines, back, back the first time, the Philistines, they slew his three sons. Right here in number two where it says, And the Philistines followed hard upon Saul and upon his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan, Abba Abinadeth, and Melchishah, Saul's sons. I can't pronounce all the names. Forgive me. I mean, I heard it, but I can't remember exactly. God is powerful. Hello there, Mr. Uh, is, is Ecuador. I can't even pronounce your name. <laughs> Praise the Lord. But God is powerful. He can pronounce our name. He knows, uh, he knows my name. Every step that I take. Every move that I make. Every tear that I cry. He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the pain. I can't see the light of day. But I know I'll be just fine. Uh, he knows my name. <laughs> I used to sing that in the choir and I forgot all about that song. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's bad. Songs pop in my head all the time, guys. He knows our name. I gotta write that one down before I don't. I got, I got Jesus is the only name for a song in the end, but that's the, I'll sing that one again too. He knows our names, my friend. He knows all our names. Yes, sir. Merry Christmas to you, buddy. Merry Christmas. So they were bragging and showing of, of, of their remains. Listen to this. They were bragging and showing of the, uh, so, of, of Saul and his son's remains, age of 10. And it came to pass on tomorrow when the Philistines came to strip the slain, they, they that they found Saul and his three sons fallen in Mount Yuba. And they cut off his head and stripped off his armor and sent into the land of the Philistines roundabout to publish it in the house of their idols among the people. They're making all these dead, they're, they're showing that they have idols of the dead body that they killed them. They're bragging. And they put his armor in the house of Ash Ashkeroth and they fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. They fastened his body to the wall of Bethshan. So let's not be, let's not be bragging, but rejoice in our sufferings, my friend. Please turn to 1 Peter, 1 Peter 4. Now hold just place there in 1 Samuel 31. Turn to 1 Peter 4. Just love the rest of the sound of the rest of the pages. It means we're trying to learn the word, my friend. We're trying to learn the word. We just quick and powerful, as I mentioned earlier. First Peter four. First Peter four. First Peter four, twelve through thirteen. We need to seek the Lord in his strength, seek his face continually. Uh oh. I was getting in second Peter, wasn't I? Oh Peter. First, per, first Peter 4, 12 through 13, right here where the Bible says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fear the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. Things are going to happen. We're going to say, well, is God not with us? We're going to go through trials and tribulations. He's, he, he wants us to know that we trust him. He wants, he wants us to show that we trust him in our lives. Trust the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto thy own understanding. Okay? And all the ways acknowledge him, and he shall 
direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It says back in Proverbs 3, 5 to 7. We'll read this 12. First Peter 4, 12 to 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice. We really need to rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Always, all along the way. We need to, all, all along the way of our life, we need to rejoice. Right here it says, But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye shall be glad also with exceeding joy. Are you ready for that? Are we ready to come down to the clouds when he's be revealed? Woohoo! We're going to get be in the clouds with him. Are you saved? We gotta be saved by his grace through faith to get there, my friends. Marvel not that saying that ye must be born again. There's none of the name under heaven given to my men whereby we must be saved, my friends, says my Acts. John 3, 7, Acts 4, 12. Please write the scripture down and look it up later. Because the Lord puts words on my heart. Powerful. You got to memorize his word, guys. The Holy Spirit is powerful. Puts it on your heart. Let's live for Jesus, my friends. No matter. We will all. We will all. We, we all. Excuse me. I can't even read what I wrote. We all are going to die. It's, 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 a, part, it's a part of life. We go down to number 14 now. Go down to number 14 now. Or number 16, excuse me, 16, 16. I thought I had it written down. I'm glad I remembered it. Yet if a man, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. You hear that? Did you hear that? Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf behalf where i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ you shouldn't be ashamed either my friend i'm not ashamed of the gospel of jesus christ for the power of god unto salvation to everyone that believeth hello good morning there was one johnny i think that was Jane. Jan janny but praise the lord we need to seek the lord in his strength every, every single day of our lives seek his face continually it says like in first chronicles 16 11 so yet if any man suffer read 16 one more time yet if any man suffer as a christian let him not be ashamed but let him glorify god on this behalf, behalf, because for the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Okay, my friends, to everyone that believeth. I did have that written down, didn't I? But then, then they put the bodies to rest. We go. I hope I told you the whole just place there in First Samuel, because we're going back. First Samuel, thir thirty-one, right here. Because then they put the bodies to rest. Then they fasted. Twelve, thirteen. They'll pause one second before we go to the third point. All the valiant men arose and went all night and took the body of Saul and the bodies of his sons from the wall of Bethshem and came to Jabesh and burnt them there. And they took their bones and buried them under a tree at Jabesh and fasted seven days. They, they put their bones, they burnt the bodies and put the bones under, under the tree. They, they, they buried the bones. God, I imagine they buried them. This is under a tree, but. I imagine they buried them. But God is powerful. We need to live for Jesus. Let's live for Jesus no matter. Because we all will die, my friends. Right here it says in Hebrews 9, 27. And, and as it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. We're going to be judged what we do on this earth. After, if, if we're not a Christian, we're going to go to the, go to the, the, uh, the white throne judgment. We're going to be going straight to hell with the devil. But if we're uh, we're saved by His grace through faith, we're gonna be we're gonna be judged. On, we're gonna be judged on our. We're gonna be rewarded for what we've done after we're a Christian. Are you gonna be rewarded, my friend? For without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So, are you diligently seeking Him, or are you just doing it on Sundays and Wednesdays? No, we need to seek Him every day and we spread the word of God every day. Like that's this morning, about to go DoorDash here in a little while in Pell City again. Can make me a little money this week, but I'm also sharing the word of God through my testimony. I got a, my dad printed me a hundred more yesterday. I'm thankful for my dad. Y'all please pray for him and his salvation because he's, he claims to be an atheist. So please, please pray for my dad. I love my dad. But y'all please, y'all please seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face intently. Cause, cause right there what it says. And, and it is, it, it, excuse me. And it is as, and as it is appointed unto men once to die. But after this, the judgment. Hebrews nine twenty seven. Please write the scripture down. Look it up later. 
Hebrews 9.27, because Jesus is the only name. Uh, I, <laughs> that song popped in my head a little while ago. I wasn't going to sing that one. I was going to sing a, a different song. But uh, y'all was, was singing the one song, then we'll pray, then we'll sing this other song. Uh, he knows my name, every step that I take, every move that I make, every tear that I cry. He knows my name when I'm overwhelmed by the shame. I can't see the light of day, but I know I'll be just fine. Uh, he knows my name. Woo we always pray with me, guys. Dear Lord Jesus, help us out to understand that you know our names. Help us out to live for you and not for this ungodly, sinful, temporary world trying to manipulate us and confuse confuse us and distract us away from you lord help us to stay focused on you and your word not let this world control us not let it destroy us as we're, if we're not saved or help us jesus i'll get saved and be, be, be able to get there with you lord in heaven be ready for you to come down to the clouds and that way we can be lifted up for you if we if we don't if we don't pass first lord jesus help us all because what is our life our life is even as a vapor that appears for a little time lord but vanisheth away as you say in james 4 14 thank you for putting that on my heart what a blessing thank you lord jesus help my boys this morning my young men help them with everything they're doing lord jesus please help my brothers and my sisters help help thank you so much for me see my sister yesterday please be with her and her and her every every all day lord please just touch her heart and let her know that i love her let her know that you love her mainly, Lord, because you are the one in control. Help her, Jesus. Help her in everything she does. Please help my sister. Help my other, help my brother Tim, too. Help him and his family, his precious little family. He's doing so great, Lord. I'm so proud of my brother Tim. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you do. Please help us all. You can be with my boys. Keep the hedge of protection around us all, Lord. Watch over us and protect us. Guide us and direct us, Lord. Keep us out of harm's way. Keep us out of danger, Lord. Thank you so much. Help me here as I sing. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. He is in control. Yes, sir. Miss Nita. Good morning to you, ma'am. Because uh, Jesus is the only name. Uh, Jesus is the only name. Uh, Jesus is the only name to remember. Woo! Are you on team, Jesus? Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name to remember. Excuse me. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want to leave a legacy. I don't care if they remember me. Oh, Brother Joey. Only Jesus. I don't care if they remember me, but only Jesus. And I, 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 I've only got one life to live. I let every second point to him. Oh, only Jesus. Woo come on, Jesus. He is so in control. He's so powerful, guys. Y'all sing one more time with me. Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name to remember. Woo! Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name. Jesus is the only name to remember, and I, 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 I don't want to leave a, leave a legacy. I don't care if they remember me, oh, only Jesus. And I, 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 I've only got one life to live. I let every second point to him, oh, only Jesus. Woo that was about casting crowns, that old song, about ten, over ten years old probably, but praise the Lord. God is so powerful. Let me get out of here and try door dash and let people know about Jesus. God bless y'all. Y'all please do the same. Go ye into our world and preach the gospel to every creature. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. As greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. That's Mark 16, 15, Nehemiah 8, 10, and 1 John 4, 4. Please write the scripture down. Look it back up and understand. Study to self, self approve A word among to God needs not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. That was 2 Timothy 2, 15. I, I said I was going to search that earlier, didn't I? Let's search that real quick. Second Timothy 2. Yeah, right here. Study show that's so approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rally to find the word of truth. Let's follow the word, guys. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. His name is Jesus. Okay? God bless y'all. Y'all have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye.